activists who begged for justice in the wake of Black Lives Matter protests that recently swept through the US and other parts of the world has died, being cruelly raped and murdered. News of the tragic fate that befell Oluwato in Salau, a popular 19-year-old protester who also had American citizenship, was confirmed by her family on Monday morning, June 15, 2020. Ms. Salau was found dead Saturday night after she went missing more than a week ago on June 6. Family members told the Tallahassee Democrat of the USA Today Network. Salau was one of two homicide victims discovered Saturday night in southeast Tallahassee. Police identified the suspect as Aaron Glee Jr., 49. Victoria Vicky Sims, 75, who also had been reported missing, is the second victim. She was a retired state worker and grandmother, well known for her volunteerism and work in local democratic politics. Glee was arrested May 30 on a charge of aggravated battery, causing bodily harm or disability, according to court records. On June 9, he was arrested on a charge of battery. Salah went missing three days prior on June 6. She was found dead Saturday night, a family member told the Democrats. In the hours before Salah went missing, she tweeted, she has just been sexually assaulted. She tweeted that a man molested her that morning around Park Avenue and Richview Road, Tallahassee, Florida. She said the man offered to give her a ride back to a church where she had sought refuge because of unjust living conditions. He came disguised as a man of God and ended up picking me up from nearby Saxon Street, she tweeted. I trusted the Holy Spirit to keep me safe. According to reports, the Tallahassee Community, Community Action Agency conducted a search party on June 10 night, starting at Bethel AME Church. The demonstrators searched for hours. They carried flashlights and asked for medics to join them in case she was hurt. Salau on June 15, after a week of her abduction, was found dead. Already, the Nigerian government has called on the government of the United States of America to ensure a thorough investigation into Toyin Salau's mother. The government, which spoke on Monday through the Nigerian Sin Diaspora Commission, NITCOM, described Ms. Salau's mother as highly depressing and cruel. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy. News Express Nigeria Television.